folks. After a little intermission, it's a game of granny back again. Okay, as you can see, we're doing recall on the Xbox One. Okay, and just having had a look around the box, um, looks like these are sort of limited editions because it's 1,342 of 3,000. So I'm wondering if that is telling us that that is a limited edition. It doesn't say it is, it just says collectors, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't believe this. Now, we've got a box. Is it a box within a box? Probably. Uh, what's the best thing to do? Pull it out or... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to turn it upside down and see if it will scoot its way out this way. Yes, I can feel it coming out. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Once again, one, one nice big cardboard box. I will show you all the sides. Two. Looks a bit like R two D two. Is that R? It was R two D two, was it? Right in in the Star Wars. Yeah, it looks a little bit like that. Well, if you take his legs away, you know, I'll just show his top knot. And there we are, recall again. And that looks like what's his name from uh, oh, uh, Borderlands? Who's it? Who's the little thingy? Claptrap. Clap that looks like claptrap. They've sort of took pieces from everywhere, I think, and just stuck them all together. And this thing round here. There you go. So let's come back to the beginning again. Whether you want to see all that or not, I don't know. But there you go. You've got it. Shall we take this off? Okay. Possibly no need. But I've done it now. And here we go. Open the lid and we get a load of polystyrene. <laughs> Goosebumps on the arms of the cameraman. Right, okay, so now this is my gripe with this. You open it up. Oh, look, there we go. Get him out. Nice steel book with this. Wow. Nice picture on the front. Sod all inside. Not a thing. Oh dear, where is the disc? Where is the game? This is the thing with this, my dears. Until I checked on the um, shop website yesterday, underneath all of the information was, as, you, as they do, put in not terribly big words, please note, this does not include the game. So anybody, and this has been, um, this has been, you know, sort of um, thought about by some others. People are going to be really disappointed in this because they think you buy a collectible, every single collectible I've got up there has had the game with it. Why they've decided not to do the game, goodness only knows. But there you go, you get a steel book with nothing in it. How good is that? And another thing that alerted me to the fact that there might be something not quite as normal and as usual with this is the fact of the price the price was a, a good deal cheaper than the bottom oh right yes okay um warning plastic bags can be dangerous or well, i suppose they've got to put that on all things but i and is this all it is oh no it's an envelope Oh, perhaps it's an apology for not having the game. I was just going to say there's nothing in it, but there is. One picture. There we go. One picture. Make sure there's nothing else. No five pound notes or anything in there, no. no not not, a, not a, a voucher to buy the game with? No. <laughs> well, I don't know. But I really do think whoever has promoted this, advertised it, or 
whatever should have really made it much clearer this is a collectible only would it not have been better to have put that right from the very start on the top of the uh, the heading when they were advertising this this is a collectible only not leave it in little tiny letters at the bottom of everything else a lot of people don't read right down to the bottom and they would have automatically thought oh this is nice but like i say the one big clue for me was the fact of the price the price was much lower um so that again also made me think hmm this is very cheap and sort of twigged then that possibly it was just a collectible so let's open it up anyway and stop all the bickering about it yes but yeah for the actual thing itself it's fine so really and truly gotta blame whoever put out the advertising for this i think for not making it clear it would have been so much better for everybody to to put on there this is the figurine only oh don't forget the steel book oh and the and the picture i mean one picture in an envelope no i i, I don't know it's trying to make something or nothing i think here we go no i still got to do around the other side oh The only other, the only other thing where I'm concerned is, is where the hell I'm going to put this. I'm sort of expanding a little bit out into other rooms. And I really wanted to keep everything together, so still not. I thought I had. There we go. Okay. God, you know that smelly that one. Ooh. Nothing in there. No. Oh yes, and another thing here, right. When you come to this, you think to yourself, oh, perhaps this is the disc. No, fold again. <laughs> this is a Recordbot alphabet, okay. Hmm. And the middle twists around and the outer stays still. There you go, there's that little bit. And I suppose you would have to play the game to really find out what that's all about. Now this I do think is really nice. This is what I call a collectible. Look at this. Love the dog. <laughs> Love the dog. Look at this. Look at this dog. So I'm just looking underneath to see if there's, uh, in case there was a battery, in case the dog's eyes lit up or something, but no. Okay, so, <laughs> for a figurine collectible on its own with no game, a fair, yeah, it, it's actually a good price. Well, what I got it for, anyway, I think it was a good price. Um... But then you add the game on top, which is, again, more or less the same price as this. And then you're coming up nearly just under £100 a game, which is what these things usually are, aren't they? Um, but this is going to be one of my favourites. It really is. It is very, very well, well done. It's got lots of little... Oh... It's a little bit like a Meccano set, isn't it? Anybody who likes bits and pieces like that to fiddle with, I reckon would sit, sit at a place and be quite happy to put that little thing, little things like that together all day. By so, the way, do you know what that is there? It is the, what's the alphabet? i got to do it, haven't I, to see the... You spin it round and it says different letters of the alphabet. So that <laughs> corresponds with that yeah. in the little diamond hole. Oh, you know, you see, the trouble with my camera <laughs> in, cameraman is, he's too bloody clever for his own good sometimes. 
I did say it was an alphabet thing. So, <laughs> here we go. What did the earwig say as it fell off the cliff? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> there you go. Right, so, peeps, you probably able to see that. So, there you go. So, if you turn that around, whoa, there's an E. That's an E. An E, E, E. And decoder dial instructions. It's a method of core bot communication. So if you speak to Okay, it, so everybody's got to carry one of those <laughs> around with them. The only way you hold a conversation is to twiddle your thing in the middle. How to decode the alphabet. <laughs> Turn the dial, line up the diamond, reveal the decoder. Do you know, that's not rocket science, is it? That is a fantastic invention. If you don't know your alphabet and you've got all these squiggles, Oh my god, each core bot symbol can be deciphered into a character of the English language. Very nice too. I wonder if they put like French in French and German in German or is it all in English? Mind you, most people speak English nowadays anyway, don't they? We're the only ones that can't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> well, not proper grammar like, if you know what I mean. Okay, so there you go. So that is a deciphered doodad for the alphabet. And that is a quite an action-packed picture. That'll have to go. Shall we put that up on the wall somewhere with the other posters? And that is an empty, I could almost say completely useless, still book, but eventually I ordered the I did order the game the game should have been here as well but it's not so I don't know whether that's down to the post or down to whoever put the game into the post box perhaps they forgot it until the morning after they might have been told pop this in on your way to work and they got to work and they opened their handbag and thought oh dear should have gone to the post never mind do it in the morning well basically that's it isn't it this is what you get this is what you get for um, uh, for, okay, right, well, like, like I was saying, I'm going to peep her out and put her somewhere, um, pack the rest of this up, and, you know, keep the box. The only trouble with all these heavy, these big boxes, you've got to keep them there. But, that's me lot, folks. I hope you enjoyed our little journey into Recore. And um, I will get out the Xbox One at some time and play it and see how it goes. And um, basically that, that's it, isn't it? I can't show you any more, any more with it. So yeah, okay. Um, I'm just looking around. I'm being a bit hesitant because what box goes where first? Hmm. We will see if we can pack it all up the way and I don't know whether to put that up on the wall with the posters. See you soon. Do you know what? I've seen that. What I feel like doing some days disappearing down a hole. Sliding down a hole just like that. It's going. Okay. Right. So, are you still recording cameraman? 